हेलो फ्रेंड्स इट्स सुजीत वाघ यू आर वॉचिंग वीकिन चैनल वेलकम टू द मैकेट्रॉनिक्स क्वेश्चन आंसर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज रिलेटेड विद द रिडक्शन ऑफ ब्लॉक डायग्राम्स सो द क्वेश्चन वॉज रिड्यूस द ब्लॉक डायग्राम एज शोन इन फिगर बिलो एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट इट्स ट्रांसफर फंक्शन दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्ट इन मार्च 2018 in same exam and the weightage of the question was 6 marks so let's start so my dear friends first of all in order to reduce the block diagram you have to consider some key points and if you remember my these key points this strategy if you follow to solve the block to find out the transfer function of the block diagram then it would be very easy for you so i will explain that point here and before that i will just write down some things here see always keep in mind this is your output and this is going to be your input output of any block diagram is called as c of s so that means control output and the input is always called as a reference input that is r of s and the transfer function is always given as the ratio of c of s that is control output to the reference input so we have to find out this in the for this block diagram so my dear friends now i will explain that this key points or key terms you have to buy at this terms it's very simple see the concept forward path means input is sampled and given to the output so see here my dear friends from here onwards there is just a input this is input and you are sampling this and it, you are providing to the output side so that means this is treated as a forward path so you should able to find out the forward path and the feedback path so now second one is feedback path or feedback block input is sampled and given to the output sorry my dear friends here i have made mistake it should have been the output is sampled and given to the input block so just make that correction so see here we are sampling the output and we are providing it to the input side so as this is input side i am sampling this output and providing to the input side similarly this is my this this will be my feedback path so i will write it as fb here also this would be my feedback path see here we are sampling the output and providing to the input so this is also a feedback path fb i am writing okay so now my dear friends first of all whenever there whenever the blocks are in parallel then we have to perform the addition of the block and if they are in series or in cascade then we have to perform multiplication so how to perform that we will see those things now here so first of all see here my dear friends you should identify the blocks first if you are able to identify the blocks then it would be very easy for you so simply here we can reduce this block diagram and we can write it as multiplication of this and this sorry it's not multiplication g3 and g2 block are in parallel so that means you have to perform addition so while drawing the diagram keep in mind always start with the center line the center line and then we'll perform the next okay so here i will draw this diagram it is r of s summing point then this is summing point next now see here my dear friends i will reduce directly here g1 and g4 are in series or in cascade so that means you have to perform multiplication of this block so i will directly write g1 into g2 and the block is like this so as we have to reduce the block next next one g3 and g2 are in parallel so you can take down it as addition so simply i will write it as addition of g2 plus g3 and the summing point as it summing point has been reduced now so this is my c of s see here while reduction keep in mind you have replaced this entire block diagram by g2 plus g3 while this g1 and g4 you have perform the multiplication g1 into g2 but in addition keep in mind you have to draw the center line first and then this is the feedback path that is h1 and this is the h1 path h1 block 
and which is given as an addition to this block. So see here, as it is plus, so you have to mention it with plus sign. So this is called as summing point, and it is shown by the cross. So here, the input is also plus, and this feedback is also plus. Here it is R of S, and again we are remaining with now the last point that is next next uh, second path. Second feedback path, and that is related with H2. So you have to write write down this H2 block, and then take down this input. You should not change the meaning of this block diagram. See, most of the textbooks tells you to know the rules and by heart the rules and go according to the rules. No need to remember any kind of rule. Just follow my procedure. It's very simple. So now G1 into G2 and H1. this blocks are having a forward function and feedback function and its transfer function is written as as this is minus sign here i will show you that formula see here you have to take down the forward path gains as it is g1 by g2 in the numerator part divided by 1 now if it is plus then you have to take down it as a minus sign always take down the opposite sign if it would have been a minus then positive sign and then you have to perform multiplication of the gain of forward path and the gain of negative uh, feedback path so that means g1 into g2 multiplied by h1 so this block gets reduced to this block only so i will write this as this is one of the block now we do have so this is again g2 plus g3 and at the end we have c of s and here again this summing point as it is now keep in mind you will ask where this summing point has gone so this summing point we have replaced this entire block by this transfer function and here it is your r of s as the input and here i have to provide it as h2 as the feedback now so we will provide it as a feedback now what you observe my dear friends keep in mind as now this block and this block is in series that means cascade so you have to perform multiplication here and after that you have a feedback path over here so we can reduce the diagram accordingly so simply i will perform the multiplication of this block and then will provide the feedback we'll go to the next page then so the block diagram will become g1 into g2 divided by we have written its function 1 minus g1 into g2 multiplied by h1 multiplied by so here we have the about term just i will go into the second g2 plus g3 so you have to multiply that so this will be your g2 plus g3 so this is my the total block now as i have performed the multiplication of cascaded blocks and then this will be your c of s along with the feedback path which is given here that is h2 and which is given to the this summing point and at this summing point also you have to check down the sign what is present here it is given as plus and this is your reference input r of s so please i will confirm with the sign now sorry the sign is minus given here so in the block diagram it's minus so you have to consider it as minus so i will just rub this part and here you have to consider minus sign this sign plays very important role so this is a error i will say which is we are adding to the input so now i have to perform this so transfer function is keep in mind always the gain of and at the numerator part you have to consider the gain and in the feedback path you have to perform the multiplication of forward gain feedback gain and we have to consider that one also so here how shall i write here c simple g1 g2 in bracket it is g2 plus g3 divided by 1 minus g1 g2 h1 divided by this will be 1 plus always here as this is minus sign so that's why i have to consider plus 
and now forward gain multiplied by feedback gain so it will be g1 g2 in bracket g2 plus g3 upon 1 minus g1 g2 h1 and this whole block is multiplied by this feedback gain that is h2 so h2 will be in this numerator part of this equation so now i will multiply this cross multiply this with 1 so what I will get now, I will get the gain as or I will directly write, I will explain that part how I come to know about this result G1, G2 in bracket G2 plus G3 divided by 1 minus G1, G2 H1 plus G1, G2 in bracket G2 plus G3 multiplied by H2. So, my dear friends, if I perform a cross multiplication here, then this denominator part and this denominator part will become equals. So, we can cancel out this and the func the last equation will remain this. So, this is called as uh, your transfer function and this transfer function is nothing but ratio of, this ratio is nothing but C of S to the R of S. So accordingly, you have to find out the block diagram. So you have to perform the above equation. So that will be your answer of the above reduced block diagram. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more such videos. Please like and share this video with your friends. Also refer my website wikinote.org. Follow us on our Facebook page Wikidot Foundation. The links for the same are provided in the description box below.